The president ultimately interviewed you as a candidate for the permanent job as FBI director. How did that meeting go? Not well. It was a bit of a bizarre experience. I went in for my um, interview with the president and he began by talking to me about his electoral college results in the state of North Carolina, which I didn't really know about or understand how that related to the position of FBI director. Not the point of the meeting. No, it wasn't. And what happened then? He talked about how great it was that I was here interviewing and wasn't it terrific that I was being considered. Uh, he said, you know, you actually might get the job. I said, thank you. Uh, he said, um, but if you don't, uh, you'll just go back to being a happy FBI guy. Did he say anything about uh, the support that he was receiving from people in the FBI? He did. He went back to that theme that we had, he had touched upon with me on two separate occasions, that people in the FBI were happy about his firing of Jim Comey. Uh, and he talked about the support that he enjoyed from within the FBI. He estimated that 80% of FBI employees must have voted for him. And he asked me if, if I thought that was true. I said, I, I had no idea who people in the FBI voted for. It's not something that we discuss at work. Did the president ever ask you how you voted? He did. He did. In our second meeting, um, which was the day after Jim Comey was fired, he asked me who I'd voted for, which was striking because I'd been counseled for years by our internal ethics advisors that you never ask people who they voted for. Um, and at that meeting, I didn't give him a straight answer. So during the job interview, I said to him, Mr. President, the last time I was here, you asked me a question. So if that's OK, I'd like to go back to that. And he said, fine. Uh, and then I explained to him that I had been a Republican my entire life, that I voted for the Republican candidate for presidency every prior election. But in the 2016 election, I did not. I chose not to vote at all because of the political nature of the investigations that we were involved in at the time, I just thought that it was better that I sit that one out. The president must have asked you a lot of questions in a job interview like this about how you would run the FBI, what your theories and philosophies of law enforcement are. He didn't ask me any questions like that. We had a conversation about North Carolina. He talked to me about how great it was that I was there interviewing. I told him that I didn't vote for him, and then that was pretty much the end of the interview.